so it is it is technically right now like two days before Thanksgiving and if all goes well this video go up one day before Thanksgiving so this is my super super last minute Thanksgiving crafting um, and by Thanksgiving crafting I mean really I just wanted a bunch of succulents and pumpkins because I love those so that's what I'm crafting today um, I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with besides sorting I'm gonna start with these guys um, so I guess let's just go over let's just go over everything that I got so you know I have my little dollar store pumpkins which I stocked up um, for Halloween I think these were like the only non clearance item I got and then the tissue paper everything else was like clearance or on sale because it's you know Halloween and fall crafting so it got marked down which is great because this would be really expensive otherwise but when it's all like you know 75 and 90 percent off it's totally doable um, yeah so I've got my little dollar store pumpkins and then I got two of these um, paper mache pumpkins which I was a little disappointed that these were the only size that um, Joann's had this year usually they have like three or four different styles and like this was it this is all my store got so I mean it's better than nothing and it will I mean I think it'll look good it's not too far off from like the right shape of these little ones um, you know and then I've got like my hoard of plants I have some flowers for like when you know these are I think these are another dollar store find but I've got like these little flowers so if I need to do any fillers I can just you know pop it off and be good to go I also think that um, might be able to use like these guys too so and everything's obviously gonna look like it's fake plants because it is it doesn't have to look real it just has to look whimsical you know um, but yeah like just very slowly over the course of I want to say like three months stocked up on succulents for this project so you know this is a long time coming my intention was to make it in October so naturally I'm doing it now um, but then I also have like some really cool I found these guys which are really pretty it's a nice little fall uh, picks which I think will be cool in them so let's not I didn't specifically go by the plant style I went more for like the overall color scheme of them another one I really liked this one yeah I really like that one so I've got all kinds of picks to use which obviously in place of the stems on them I can I can't pop those off yeah so in place of stems I'm gonna have just the succulents but I'm gonna have uh, like little arrangements I don't want a single second one I guess that's kind of cute but that's not what I'm going for so I'm gonna have to store all of that so everybody gets their succulents uh, and then the big guys the goal for these is that they're gonna be painted white and I might do the lower half in a gold accent color and then they're gonna have just tons and tons of flowers and picks and the succulents just all over them but then they also are gonna be hanging I found these as part of the fall clearance so before I paint my big pumpkins I'm gonna have to cut some holes into them for the uh, clips on the ends of this chain and there's four total and then um, I mean that should be a cool fun like hanging planter when it's done it won't be a real planter obviously because it's paper mache and that's a terrible idea for a planter but for full plants it will be pretty cool and then for these pumpkin guys I did uh, I think two years ago I did gold Thanksgiving decorations and the paint on those is just not holding up at all so this year because um, you can't you can't spray paint these if you spray paint these the styrofoam is just gonna disintegrate from the spray paint and I after learning that very quickly opted to do just like a brush on you know acrylic paint 
and acrylic paint won't eat through them but this orange color that's already put on them is so difficult to paint over that it took I think it took something like four or five coats of acrylic paint with a primer um, to get like absolutely nowhere with them so instead my tactic was to use tissue paper and originally what I wanted to do was get a white tissue paper with a floral print on it since they were gonna be like little floral um, decoration pieces but I couldn't find that so I found this I found two of them they're a little bit different but this is the first one I'm like that would be kind of nice and suitable and then I also found that one which I like it but not nearly oops, sorry about that so I like it but not nearly as much as this one but this is the only one I could find of it so I'm not certain that it's gonna be enough for all four of them I know they don't look very big but like when you're laying it out um, it's kind of a weird shape to do so in that sense it may not be enough but then I realized that the accent paper that came with them is like a really muted gold color and it's metallic and there's probably enough of this one to cover all four of them because I got two sets of them um, which I think is yeah it's two sheets so that would be one sheet per pumpkin and I'm hoping because I don't have to worry about any like pattern prints on this uh, you know like you do with these so like the way it's gonna lay out you have to consider or you should consider the patterns on them since I don't have to do that with these I should be able to use one whole sheet per pumpkin because I can use it however I need to I think that's what I'm gonna do which is awesome. Hard to do the lighting in here. It is late. I got distracted, so uh, I'm gonna get one of these I'm done for now. I'll have to do the rest of them after this, but yeah, this is the difference. It looks good. It looks good. It feels good. I just have to wait for the glue to finish drying. There's a bunch on top where I put the pieces together because I did the sides first. Then I finished the bottom, which did need a couple of touch-ups. And then I finished the top for, you know, laying the pieces over one another. But yeah, so this is where I'm at. Okay, so look how these came out. Um, yeah, it's the decoupage. It, it was a lot more time consuming than I expected, so this project um, took all of my night. I didn't get to work on my larger pumpkins because I had hoped to have them painted at least by this morning, but and then the decoupage, like with the tissue paper, it looks so good. And I guess you can, like, if you're careful, you can do it a lot smoother, but I like having the texture. I mean, partly why I like doing the tissue paper on projects. But uh, yeah, so the game plan. I'm just gonna get tons of sucky 
succulents and flowers and things. On top of them, like the little guys, but then I have these chains for them. And this is what I gotta figure out first. So these just have like really simple, you know, latches, hooks. Exactly what the term is for them. So I just I have to figure out how to do the holes where I want the holes to be because then I will hook these onto the pumpkin in four different spots and then I'll have two hanging pumpkin planters. stabbing myself I have figured out how I'm gonna do this um, so the chain loops on their own weren't gonna work um, because I couldn't get this like to hook into the pumpkin so my thought was I would could just use my um, spring rings for jewelry making uh, that didn't work either because the paper mache is too thick and that made it difficult to get those put into the holes I had punched. So then I thought oh, I would just do it with some wire and create a loop and that didn't work either because the paper mache is still too thick. So instead what I came up with doing is kind of mimicking what you use to hang like pot racks and things from your ceiling. So like what I've got started is I got a piece of wire cut and I've made a loop and then I'm just gonna twist it but I'm not gonna twist all the way down I'm just gonna twist it enough yeah to make this like kind of t-shape and then I'm gonna fold the ends in half and end up creating two more loops that creates a more you know more uniform t-shape and then what I'm gonna do is thread it in like this so that when I um, move this into place it'll kind of kind of be back to its shape and then these will catch so it doesn't pull out of the pumpkin and then I am gonna reinforce it just in case because like as is this is fine but once the plants are on there, the pumpkin is going to be a little bit heavier and that added weight might cause these to, um, to pop out of the pumpkin and I don't want that so I'm just going to have to accommodate beforehand, you know, just so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, so there we go. It is my hanging pumpkin. 